Well, once upon a time, Rocky Calavito roamed the Indians outfield mm -hmm. and swung a baseball bat like that's exactly and only what he was <laughs> meant to do. My dad, Sarah, once told me Rocky was his favorite player. I, he was trying to explain how popular he was to me, and he said, picture Elvis in an Indians uniform. <laughs> he was that beloved. And then... We traded him. Oh, man, <laughs> I hate the turn. Well, today, more than 60 years after the Indians sent Rocky to the Detroit Tigers, Calavito was back here in Cleveland, where his presence will now remain forever. Here's Dominic Ferrante. For five seasons in the late 50s, Indians outfielder Rocky Calavito was among the best players in all of baseball. He was an idol to so many while gracefully patrolling the outfield and leading the American League with 42 home runs in 1959. Cleveland had one of the game's best young talent, and, th and then they traded him, the worst trade in team history. And I played for six different teams, so I have an idea. I really shouldn't have. He shaped who we were, especially us little guys on the ball diamond in Little League. Of course, what better place to put the statue in the heart of Little Italy where paisans and cannolis meet. Cheers. Three, two, one. Some can still remember hearing on the radio as Rocky played when they were kids. What I liked about him was when he would do the calisthenics with the bat before he would go up to, to bat and everything. Calavito is now 88 years old and says this statue is so much more than just clay to him. There's no words to describe how I'm feeling right now. The statue was designed and crafted by David Deming, who is also known for his work of Frank Robinson and Larry Doby. And I remember as a kid uh, watching them take a ball off of the fence and throwing a strike to the catcher. Even though Rocky grew up in Bronx, New York, he will always forever have a place here in Little Italy, reminding those who pass by of his time here in Cleveland. In Little Italy, Dominic Ferrante, 3 News.